Okay, so I have to review Brambledon again. I'm trying to get all my videos down under 10 minutes, and some of them are 15. Brambledon's one of them. So I, I, I really don't like Brambleton. I, I think it's I think it's an overpriced course for what you get for sure. It has some some okay holes. Some of the holes are actually legitimately okay. Some of them are just barely acceptable. But a lot of the holes are just literally. It's just like they they just cut a lane of a fairway out of the woods, and there's trees left and right, and almost no rough. You know, it, they're scram they're clearly scramblers holes and stuff. But they're just there's too many holes like that on this course. The the real problem I think with this course is it it just asks you to pay a lot for a C course, and I really don't have much more to say about this course than that. The first tee, the back tees, the blue tees are literally right in front of the clubhouse, right next to the putting green in front of the clubhouse. And this course is always, you've got foursomes and everything right there in the clubhouse, guys milling around, milling around the putting green. The tee, but even the white tees are maybe, you know, 25 yards away from the putting green. And it's like a show, it, you know, it's, it's, it's like almost like, um, the masters where you, everybody's standing around watching people tee off. That's what the first hole is like on this course. And it's a decent enough part for, you know, with some, some, um, link style ridges on the right side, big humps and stuff. And, and, you know, there's a fair enough, fair, fair chance. You've know, got a fair number of people who play off to the right and try to go over there and find your ball and that, and it's really long grass over there. You know, it, this, that's one of the better holes in the course. The next hole, this you know, is a, sort of an uphill shot over waist, and that's a step down. And there's the par three, which the last time I played it was a 90 yard par three. That's a step down. Then there's a couple of decent holes in the front side, you know, like that are dog leg lefts, or one is a crescent right, and and then that that one with the that, with the green that faces the lake. That's not a bad hole, and. The hole after that where you're playing around the side of a lake and that's not so bad at hole. Uh, but I think I would say about half the holes in the front side are okay. No question. Okay. But half of them are just cheesy muni holes. You know, cheesy holes. Really cheesy holes. And then you have the back side and the back side is much more woody, more woodsy than the front. The front's certainly fairly open. But other than the par three over the, the, the small lake and the, the par four or five where you're playing down that shoot and there's a, a, a stone wall in the middle and you, know, you play over that, you know, and I think there's also another hole where you, it's kind of like a hole at, uh, at Raspberry Falls where you're, you have a, a tee box back behind a waist and you have a narrow gap between the trees and you're hitting out you know, into a wide open fairway. That's a decent hole. It doesn't have the creek that the one at Raspberry Falls has running across it that you can't see, but not bad. But the, the thing is, I would say that about half the holes at this course would make a good course. The other half are just filler holes that, yes, you can lose your ball off the tee. Yes, you can blow your approach shot. I mean, they're, they're, they're like cheesy beginner holes, you know. But the course is a $50, 60 $70 course in Ashburn. It's not something that I would ever recommend that anybody would pay to play that course at that rate. Play, there's so many better courses than Brambleton in the D.C. area. I wouldn't even really waste my time on it, especially since it's almost always busy as hell. And... I haven't gotten the yardage. I haven't gotten the slope. You know, it, it can't be that long. It really isn't that long. You know, I might, it might be 62 or 6,300 yards. It, it can't be that hard. You know, it's probably a 120 slope course. It, it just is so, so Walmart of a course. So, so target of a course for a, for, you know, serious money, serious money. And, I, the only way I can think that this course ever survives or gets away from where you know gets out and gets any kind of business is because it's in Ashburn, because there are some other courses in Ashburn that are much better and probably are and 
are even more built up than than Brambleton. It's it's a convenient enough and easy enough course to play if you're a casual golfer. And I I just think that anyone with a decent game would be let down significantly by the length and the ease of this course, the repetitiveness, the simplicity, the lack of imagination of so many holes. I I would never recommend this course to anyone visiting the area to play. I could hardly think of a worse course in the D.C. area. It is certainly one of the worst courses, in my opinion, in the D.C. area. And there's little more to say about it than that. It just is a golf course and little more than a golf course. That's Brambleton in Ashburn, Virginia.